Hi, I'm, I'm Tim, and uh, we're at a wonderful ancient woodland right now, Taliesin, in southwest Scotland. And uh, what I want to share with you today is the sovereign way. So I'm a sovereign being, you're a sovereign being, I'm living, okay, I'm, I, I'm a living man. And uh, I'm walking in, in, in the path of, of, of a free path. Where, where, where I am sovereign, so therefore we stand above the legal system, which was, was created by us, man. And there has been quite a large deception that has gone on over the ages. It goes back actually sort of thousands of years, but it really did ramp up with the, the Roman emperors because they created um, a system of confusion of, of language, which is called legalese, which is dog dog latin um it's the all capital letters that you see on a grave when you get your 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 driving license or passport you will see that your name is all block capitals but really you you are a living person you are sam you are julie i am tim and that gives you immense power and and protection from 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 the state which isn't actually there to protect you at all um we, we treat we're treated to slaves can you please say that what you used to tell me about the courts and going to court? Because that was interesting. The 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 system the system has actually provided a, a remedy for, for for living men and women. If living men and women um, wish to de declare their freedom, that there, there is a way to challenge um, court summons, uh, various different bills, or your communications with the police. If there has been no victim. So there isn't actually a crime being committed, then it's possible to challenge the officer. OK, now I, I use a, a coding process which is called Uniform Commercial Code. So without prejudice, the words without prejudice um, actually mean I am reserving all my rights lawfully. So I'm reserving all my rights not to contract, not to be compelled to contract, with with a performance and the the state and admiralty law it's all about pieces of paper it's all about raising a claim setting up a constructive trust so if you get a court summons uh you can just draw a line through the address you can put return to sender and then you can write notice and then write ucc1 hyphen 308 and then put without prejudice that is then an instruction that you send back to the court and you won't have any more correspondence from the court after that. Incredible. And your car has your own personal number plate as well. It's not one that's, a, say, we call official, but it's you've made your own number plate and no problem. Over the last 10 years, it's been quite a journey, but I've, I've, I've found out lots of things. And the most exciting thing for me is because one of the most important things for me is the right of way. So, so it's for us to be able to move and, 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 and travel. And my conveyance, which is called a car in legalese, has a very different type of number plate. And, and the words are Quetzal. And Quetzal is a bird, a Central American bird, and it represents freedom in abundance. So for me, having the right of way to travel without a license so there is no license required to travel, yeah. which is great. Mm -hmm. That gives me a lot of freedom. There is then obviously no requirement to tax the, the, um, the conveyance. Um, I do have a way of settling a claim. So if, if it was my fault and I had an accident, then I have set an allocation with the Treasury um, to, to offset that claim. Right. So I can settle claims. Excellent. And talking about electricity, that's another thing that's very important. Yes, nowadays. something else I learned was that because everything is a contract, say mm -hmm. you were to move into a house, um, you, you, there's no requirement for you to lift up that electricity bill and start to contract. Okay, okay. So, so I, I, um, I, have, I, don't, I, I don't contract with them with regards to the electric bill and the, the claims that they make they, they actually take the money out of your treasury account it yeah. comes out of your birth certificate bond right. which is the treasury account that's the source of money because us us the living men and women 
are used as surety, mm -hmm. as capital against, against, against the money that's in the system. Yeah. Um, they changed this in 1933. It was called the House Joint Resolution 192. And um, Captain Mandel House and uh, Roosevelt, they had a discussion that you can look up on the internet, and that was to actually explain how this system of fraud would operate mm -hmm. and that they would have deniable plausibility if anybody like myself was to ask the question. But because they've removed the gold and the silver, the gold standard, there is no longer anything to back up the money. So they yeah. had another way of doing it, and that was to embond people, set up bonds against their birth certificate trust to raise money. Yeah. It's a hideous thing, and it, it is sort of modern-day slavery, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. that's what... What I'm challenging is is slavery. Right, and you would would wish for people to start really looking at what is going on and to look up things on the internet and question how we've been, I don't know, yes. enslaved into it. There is a way around everything if you've got the time to just look and study and question it. I started to look into common law. I was looking into the Justinian deception, mm -hmm. and that's Justinian was the only British. Um, British Roman Emperor and then later on Pope Boniface in 1302 created the very first trust and that was the first trust of three crowns which are the three crowns on the the sort of the monarch emblem where you've got the unicorn mm -hmm. the lion and stuff those three crowns enslave us they take our land they take our body and they take our souls so they believe if you if you're seven years lost at sea under the 1666 uh, Setake Trust. So if you look up the Setake Trust, which is seven years lost at sea, that's why if you want to put something in trust, there is always this seven years. Mm. Um, you will find the answers. The, the, the truth is there and it empowers us. How can people maybe sort of find out more that you found out? Can they contact you in any way or is there any way they can, something that can set them off to look up? Yeah, we're, we're called Quetzal. Mm. So Q U E T Z A L. Um, I will be setting up a website called Quetzal.uk, which Excellent. will share the three pillars of, of, right. of, of Quetzal. Um, you can get in touch with me, phone me. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can phone me and text me yeah. on 07434 634527. That's 07434 634527. You can also email me at QSTLTD right. at protonmail.com. That's Quetzal Shipping and Trading Limited at protonmail.com. Right, lovely. Well, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it. It's just, I think we need to restart really to open up, and maybe you'll start to. I hope so. so.